Grocery pet peeves. Now, I don't know what you guys classify as a pet peeve, but to me, pet peeves are just little things that someone does that annoy you. It doesn't mean, you know, you hate the person, but it's definitely annoying when someone does it. And some of these actually make me want to just yeet some people out of the, out, out of the store. All right. So these are my gro these are my grocery pet peeves. Number one, asking about other department items. Now, obviously most of these depend on how you ask them. Yeah, it mostly just depends on how you ask them because some people are like very uh, nice about it and then some people's absolute just dickheads and you actually just want to throw them out the store. I've had some instances where people ask about things in other departments. Obviously, I haven't been there for that long and it's not even my department. I'll be literally at the freezers and then I get asked, do you know where clothing pegs are? And I'm like... Cuz, do you think clothing pegs go into fucking freezers? Cuz if you do, you need to go to a psych ward. Cuz you're obviously insane. Why the fuck would I know where clothing pegs are? Like, I've been around the store, but I don't care about other department shit. I only care about my shit. It already takes long enough. To remember all the sh like, remember where all my stock goes, because I'm dumb as shit. Let alone where your stuff goes, well, where other department stuff goes. Why don't you ask the eight people that are usually on grocery? And I can literally see them. You can't say, "Oh, I didn't see." You pass them. I've seen a couple of people just walk straight past people, straight to me. I'm like, "Fuck off, cause like." In all honesty, fuck off. I'm not trying to be mean. But they come up to me and ask me and then get mad when I don't know where it is. Those are the type of customers I don't like. They get mad when they ask about a different department item. Like us. Go ask the fucking grocery people in the aisles. Them kid. Number two. Putting items in the wrong place. Now, this... The, so what I mean by this is putting so let's say chilled items frozen items stuff like okay frozen stuff like ice cream if you're gonna not put it in the right place at least put it somewhere like at least stuff it in like a freezer or somewhere cold to where the item won't expire so you know you we're not wasting products because i can't tell you how many especially in my old job how much things have have just been thrown out because we you know uh, uh, after they mount we can't really just put them back in because health and safety bullshit so we have to put them in credits and guess where they go to the rubbish they might be put down but most of the time the shit goes to the rubbish and there's been a lot of times that things like hundreds of dollars of like meat products like chicken breasts steaks have just gone off because people instead of like, if you want to leave it, okay, but leave it in a place that it won't just spoil. I, don't, I can't tell you the amount of times I've, like, been down an aisle, because at my other job, I was doing grocery. I'd be, like, um, by the drinks, obviously, they're not in the fridge, they're, uh, they're, like, the drinks, like, juices, they're on the shelves, and I'm just, like, facing them up, and I see, like, a chicken breast, just off to the side, just straight warm as shit and I have to take its credits and they just end up throwing it out because they can't reuse it they just can't legally they'll get them in trouble so they just get rid of it stop leaving items in places that are just gonna make let them spoil if you're gonna leave them leave them in correct areas if it's meat leave them in like a fridge or something if it's a drink that that was in the fridge leave it in like a freezer or a fridge if it's ice cream put it in the goddamn freezer at least come on people number three blocking aisles now i had a customer doing this 
earlier today i was trying to get past her in order to you know get to the freezers because i just came from the back hey yo okay pause i just um i had stock and i was bringing it out to the store so i'm trying to bring it out i just i just came oh my goodness you know i'm bringing the stock out right she so i want to take a right so i can just you know take the most direct route to where i want to go i looked at my right and a customer is obviously standing there so i'm like okay i'll just go around but guess what she has her trolley in the middle of the fucking aisle she has it in the middle of the aisle and it's annoying because it's not even like directly in the middle it's like a bit off the middle so imagine uh um okay imagine the trolley's on the left it's uh it's in the middle but it's more towards the left she's standing on the right side so she's actually blocking both paths so i can't go straight so if i want to go somewhere i have to take like another route obviously i asked her oh uh, sorry excuse me and she just looks at me and i'm like excuse me i'm trying to get past can you please for just take one second she was just looking at fucking milk i'm like bruv get the piss off why are you blocking up this aisle what why is your trolley on the other side of where you are and how are you blocking both both ways of injury how's this possible what's going on what is this shit number four is staring at me instead of just ask me about the item you want now there's some people that might be so should you know have social anxiety i might have social anxiety social anxiety i don't really know can't tell you know never been diagnosed but i'll tell you right now if i want if i need a, if i'm finding something and i need something i don't give a fuck i'm going up to the person and asking hi there sorry for you know being uh being intrusive kit can you please help me find this item i don't know where it is i've like searched most of the store and just get it sussed some people and when i say some i mean a lot more than you'd expect just straight up stare at me they just stare stare even more and stare even harder right into my eye not well not right into my eyes they're just looking directly at me it's like the kind of stare where you can tell someone's looking at you that kind of stare like the one where you're like you just know someone's looking at you and i'm just like if you want to know where i just come up and fucking talk just ask me bro i'm literally here it's a customer service job just fucking come ask me what you want because why do i have to come up to you and fucking God, it's like I'm in the sales job. It's just like, oh, do you want to get this? Pop just come up to me because I don't like talking to people that goddamn much, but it doesn't mean that I'm just going to, you know, just stare at people because that just makes everything awkward. Makes you look like a creep. Imagine just looking at someone from the side and looking so hard that they, they can just tell that you're staring at them. Knobhead. Number five. This one isn't even really this one's literally just a phrase can you look in the back can you look in the back fuck off man and i say this i say this because i don't know how many times i've had a couple situations where i've literally gone to the back like i have gone to the back i've checked and I'm like, we don't have this item. And then like, did you check the back? I'm like, yes, I checked the back. I literally just went to the back. We don't have it. You know, and I've, I've actually, I am the type of person that I will actually try to find it. I will go to the back, try to find it. I'll literally ask the, st the store, um, you know, storeroom if we have anything in stock. And they will just tell you because they got everything on the computer. They can tell what stock we have. And, and they say no. Then I come up to you, and then I get hit with, but did you look in the back? Yes, 
Cuz, I did look in the fucking back. I just came from there. You just asked me. Can you look in the back? I said, no problem. I go look in the back, come back, and you still ask me, did you look in the back? And then there's some of them that pushy as well. They'll be, they'll just be like, oh, uh, is, can I go have a look in the back? Like, no, you're not fucking authorized to go in the back. You're not a, you know, you're not an employee here. I looked in the back. Just, just fucking come another day, you're not paid. It's not the end of the world if you don't get your fucking goat cheese.